The UNFCCC and all of its COP always count on both adaptation and mitigation as the soundest step against climate change. The latter means that the GHG emissions in the atmosphere must be reduced in as many strategies as possible like retrofitting buildings to address energy use efficiency, adopting renewable energy sources, sustainable transport systems in the cities, sustainable land use and forests, webinar The Journey of the Global Environment Facility, YouTube. In 1992 also, the Global Environment Facility, GEF, was inaugurated still in Rio. There are three objectives that underlie all of its programs and projects. 1. Promote innovation and technology transfer for sustainable energy breakthroughs. 2. Demonstrate mitigation options with systemic impacts. 3. Mainstreaming mitigation concerns into sustainable development strategies. It encompasses clean technologies, business models, policies and strategies financial tools, the GF7 is pushing hard for cross-cutting impact programs like sustainable cities, food systems, land use with its restoration, and sustainable forest management. This would like to bring mitigation and adaptation to national planning and development agenda of countries. It can be done if sound data, analysis, and policy frameworks are available. Nevertheless, the focus of GEF investments for specific projects to mitigate emissions are classified into three. A. Energy efficiency, introduction of standards for consumer appliances and equipment, such as lighting, air conditioners and motors, and stronger building codes. B. Renewable energy, commercialization and scaling of technologies like solar, wind, small hydro, biopower and geothermal energy. C. Policy, introduction of feed-in tariffs, reverse auctions and other market-based mechanisms and financial instruments to speed up investments in clean energy.